All right, so here's the scenario I came up with. Tyler Tony from Do Perfect Calls on and ask us if we could help the boys and him figure out their issue with trying to break the record for the world's longest and highest strike in bowling. You're good. Thank you. So if the crew starts, with, you're fine. You can sit there, you won't block. If the crew starts with getting a bowling ball off the ramp with a velocity of 65.2 meters per second at an angle of 48 degrees. So in this case, we need a ramp. I was so confused. I didn't have the camera turn the other direction. But I thought that you were just turning the other direction because the release turned towards the oh, yeah. smart board. <laughs> <laughs> So here's our ramp that we're coming off of uh, here, and then we're coming up on this bowling lane, and here is the end of the bowling lane, at which point we'll have our bowling ball pin. Now, I'm not an art teacher, so you drew one better than me. That's very good. Figure eight with the top smaller. Yeah, just draw figure eight with the top smaller than the bottom. It'll work. Okay. We'll draw a Chinese nesting doll. You mean a Russian? Chinese nesting doll. That's what I'm going to do. Is this business class? Not? I don't know. International studies. Alright, so we need to hit this high point, which is right here. So this is ultimately the final position. There's a So that's what we're trying to find. And here is our starting point. So here is X initial. We're going to make it zero meters. Now in this case, this bowling ball fires off of here. Going bottom five. Super, super fast. Alright, so it's at 48 degrees. Okay, why did I, when I first read this problem, I was like, it's going to come to the top of the ramp and it's going to go flat line. <laughs> it's not coming off the ground. It's just going. Alright, so in this case, we have an initial velocity. So is the ramp basically irrelevant? It's like it's being launched from that point. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so wow. the ramp's just there to throw you off. Ramp's irrelevant. It's like it's like it's like it's being shot by one of those machines that you're talking it's about. It's like the vegetable. Mm -hmm. Whenever I give y'all this, do y'all want me to draw the picture for you? Yes. If you want. You know, as long as I'm not the problem. Yes. <laughs> no, I volunteer because as long as you're not the problem. I want I want to be roasted in the physics problem. Can you give me a I'm off of the stage at Nicholas County High School. Oh my God. Please do that. So 65.2 oh, 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 meters per second. Okay, so we've got our triangle. I already have my triangle. So we've got a triangle here, and this is velocity, and then ultimately what we're looking at, the grand scheme, the path, which is super important, is we're running up. We're wanting to hit here. We need to make sure and hit the pin. Because Tyler Tony stressed that to us. And Tyler Tony is the man. So whenever you're looking at this, another issue we got to deal with, we're just keeping it purple here. Why do I have two purple? Because you don't have the purple. It's superior. Because one of them was on that Bible box. Bible box. So. Bible box and the Bible belt. Part of the Bible belt. Did y'all see the meme that was like, you know, you live in the Bible Belt, and it was the movie, I don't know if y'all have ever seen it, so I'm not going to say it, but it said Heck Boy instead of the actual one. <laughs> so in the case, <laughs> Heck Boy. 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 We're going to have to find out how long it takes. So hopefully we're trying to find time. Okay, we can do that. We absolutely can do that. Can we? Yeah. Because in order to do this, we're going to go from this point to this point. Now, I know like you got all sorts of questions here. Why are we always looking for like that high point? It's not really the halfway point. The time you're looking when time is one half is when they're at the same height. So can we just <laughs> you know how like the high point is like time divided by two or something? What is it? It's like time. You know like there, we had an equation like once we hit here it was like time something or another. 
I don't remember. Do you know what I'm talking about? Nope. Negative? No. Do y'all think I can make this show? It must have been a Absolutely can. So in this yeah. case, where these are not, if this was at the same height, so if we're trying to get the bowling ball here and here, we find this half point. <laughs> so take that half point, times it by two, and once yeah. we times it by two, it would give us the projectile from here. But the problem of it is we're not hitting here, we're hitting here. So we can still find this high point, and the key to going to the high point is what's the velocity in the y direction of it. Zero. It's going to be zero. Okay, but I have a question. No, why would that be zero? Because earlier I asked, like when you're talking about the hot point, I asked if you could just time that time that you find for an hour and a half by two and find your whole time. But you said that, um, you said that, <laughs> um, you said that you don't know for sure that that's the, hot, the halfway point. So you have to find two different times. <laughs> Will that matter? I mean, as long as you can forget about it. <laughs> okay, so I have throw this bottle at approximately 48 degrees. We put it in the Yay! Okay, okay, this is perfect. Oh, my nose is so much more important. It really is. Pick up my other water bottle that I didn't make. And my pencil. <laughs> Okay, so whenever she threw the bottle, she threw the bottle from here, right? Yeah. yeah. So the bottle left her hand here. Uh -huh. So we take this, in the X direction, this is the Y direction. Did the bottle hit here? No. No, it hit here in my trash can, so it's down here. So this, if the bottle hit here, let's say it hit so there on the board, right here on the ledge of the board, then literally going from her hand to the ledge of the board, Would be the half. high point is the half time. Okay. But... It didn't hit you. Okay. Went to the trash can, so it yeah. traveled longer, so yeah. it's a truly not the half time. Okay. 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 Why, why is the zero at the top right there, though? Uh, you guys trying to say that's where it stops? It's like stopping and then it's starting to go next to the But the bowling ball, I don't feel like if you put it on the It's moving in the, the X direction, we're but it's not moving time. in the Y direction. They're like we're going from the ramp, we're finding the top. Ah, it's going, going in the Y like direction, but it's not going in the top. You know, like if you throw something and then it just like, it might be moving this way, but it's like, yeah, it's not. It's not going up anymore. Because it reaches zero up here. <laughs> That's why we're at. I mean, I, I can understand whenever you're like throwing a ball from the sky, whenever it was a ramp, it didn't make sense to me. Because usually if you go over a ramp, it just kind of... Proceed. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. So we found that point there to be uh, Wi Fi. So in this, we're going to write down our. I label it like this the Y high point. They spent too long in this room. <laughs> I have that too. Which is, I'm just going to make us a shopping list here. Why do you guys put Y final first? Why do we do this? You don't have to. You can put Y next. I know. I just, Your shopping list doesn't have to match. Right? I know. It just always throws me we off because I always go. That's right. I always go Y How are you first. making spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just wait there for one or two hours. <laughs> you have to make that to you. Okay, why wouldn't you make gravity negative? I'm going to go to that. I'm going to make it negative. Okay. And this is as to why. Okay? You have an initial velocity in the Y. We have to find it. Because you start here with the initial velocity. We haven't, I haven't solved the triangle yet. Okay. So in this case, i got to find the initial velocity. What? they got jelly on paper. Which will be equal to 65.2 meters per second times the sine of 48 degrees. Oh, I got it. Okay. I forgot what it was. Is it 48.4530? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we figured it out. I just forgot to write it down. No, you did write it down, but I erased it because oh, okay. it wasn't in my writing. Even the That's, That's the initial. What was that noise? <laughs> this is the initial. <laughs> So initial is 48.4530 meters per second. Now this is the key, and uh, you call it, they call you Catherine. Catherine. Yeah, I call, I call it Catherine. Catherine. 
Catherine. Is that the only one that calls you that? Yeah, I've never heard Because that's not her name. <laughs> uh, I think Raylan right. okay. thought my name Raylan was really thought great, 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 like Catherine. Yeah, I think I convinced her. I'm so, um, Katie asked, okay, why do I not make gravity negative? I, I didn't for this point. One of these two has got to be negative. They have to be an opposite sign. Because if they're the same sign, this is my initial velocity, and if the acceleration's in the same direction, it's going to be accelerating it in that direction, and it'll never change it. One has to be opposite. For me, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump and make my gravity negative. When I do that, in this case, only to right here, what I'm looking at, I'm making it down negative. Okay? All right? Ooh, that's great. I love physics. It's honestly my favorite subject. Oh, yeah. I am an advocate for the subject of physics. Get your camera She is on camera. No, my voice, not my face. This is how I have to do it. You had three tacos of lunch or I'll press the ball. That's fine. That's You're totally going to work. That's just how I figure it out. I'm not scientific about it. No, that's fine. The key is these two have got to be opposites. Okay. 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 Is there a way to do it? Is it? We are also... You've got more information we'll put in. We're going to do the perfect record. Okay, so I'm going to make right here y initial zero meters, my starting point. Yes. I don't know the final position. I'm trying to find it. I thought one of Do we know the final velocity? No. It's zero. It's zero because that's that one. It's at the high point. This is why we chose that point. Yeah. So it's zero. Yep. Because it's that. That's why we chose that highest point. Okay, so the only thing we're looking for is y final and time. Yes, because we're going to have to find time from, from here to here, and then we'll have to have time from here to the finish. Okay, you may have already said this. Okay. But in the y direction, y is y initial zero meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Okay. <laughs> Alright, so in this, now we got solve for it. So in this case, I'm going to jump and solve for time first because it's the easier that's one. That's what we like to do. Because I like to do final velocity this equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. This is what's going to hurt me. I need to be able to know my formulas for this quiz. It's currently 319 at 330. I'll provide a picking up joke. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I read, I read off the yes, yes, sir. Yeah, you have to read I'll read off my hand. You guys remember Mom? Yeah. I wish I had a thing. Mom's barbecue chicken. Oh, that was so funny. All right, so. It was like, it was like, Mom uses two gallons of barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a picture of yours. Look, dude, it was like, it was like one chicken breast. Two gallons of barbecue sauce. <laughs> acceleration which is bad. <laughs> it just I just don't like to do it. It makes it so negative forty eight point four five three zero five by negative nine point eight one gives me a time of four point nine three nine one seconds. <coughs> Yes. So here's the time for this scenario. So I'm going to call this T1. Yes. It is 4.9391 seconds. And this is only going from here. Well, sorry. From here. I don't want to do that. It's going to mess up my purple marker. Well, just we, we know. We know. It's fine. Coming from this point. This point. Just make it go around. Yeah. There you go. 
to there all the way up That's here. That's a straight line, guys. It is. Wait, so is the ramp, do we have a ramp length, or is it zero from the starting point? That's my triangle for the velocity. Okay, just building. making sure. Yeah, the ramp stopped here. Mr. Hall, do you possess an eraser <laughs> to, borrow to erase all of the things on the other boy. messed up. No, no, I, 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 I mean in like a... A big boy eraser? You did physics calculating that to make sure they yeah. wouldn't... I knew we did the right point. <laughs> All right, so in there, we get that time. Now we need the high point. So we got to find Wi-Fi. So you got two options here for what you can do with Wi-Fi. Wi so I, I really just jumped for this. So Wi-Fi equals initial position plus initial velocity times time plus one half gravity times time squared. Make sure time is squared, not gravity. Yes. Because whenever you do that, remember the y initial is zero. You start to smell mid. Do you have hands on the top? I do And that's the only thing you get left with. The only thing we can knock out is that initial position. So in this Vita of Vault, or whatever you guys call it, the, the initial velocity times time is 48 point four five three zero <laughs> meters per second. <laughs> That's time, which we calculated. I'm gonna throw it in here. Plus one half times gravity, which is still a negative nine point eight one meters per second squared. Times time squared, which is 4.9391 seconds squared. Make sure that in the calculator. <laughs> okay, if I just put point five in the one minute. Yeah, fine. I didn't know if that would oh. make anybody upset. I just put Seven a Q instead of a G. <laughs> so, yeah. I forgot that was recorded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I most definitely did not hear it recording. It's what's going to be on the start of my three-night stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> 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 Julie has been, like, I love so Julie. So we get to have one. Okay. Like, I know this is dumb and it's just going to confuse everybody, but this has happened three problems in a row, and I just thought you guys should know something. Your VOT is twice as much as your half acceleration times squared. It has happened 12 times in a row. Your VOT. The VOT <laughs> is twice as much as the half AT squared. Oh. It has happened multiple times. I don't know why. Uh -oh. Why did I not get that? I didn't get that either. Why did I not get that? I don't know. That. Well, I don't understand. Are you a little point. off or are we completely off? Uh, <laughs> But I think I did something wrong. I added that. Why did that? Why? 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 I read off a spaghetti recipe. <laughs> it's not every city spaghetti recipe. <coughs> so now it's time to subtract. Right? Yes. Before I do that, I want to make sure y'all get like you're able to get to this point. Well, now I have it. We're not. Why didn't we get that in the first place? You may just been sending me time. Yeah, you might have typed in something. You might have not put like, the parentheses. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. So all we've done so far is get our shopping and then we'll look through formulas. Yeah, and continue. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, Molly. Molly just three. I worked so hard. Molly, at least I When I got number three wrong, I didn't even try to rework it. I just. I understand what I did wrong. I just didn't rewrite it. Molly, I'm still getting. I got two fifteen points. Dylan, are you even right? How dare you? What do you swear? 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Molly, yeah, Molly. Okay. Molly did right now. They good. <laughs> Molly is angry. Molly angry. But Molly is pretty. Mr. Holster, Molly is so smart. Molly, you gonna cry? No. Molly is smart. 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 Would not move, and she did it fearlessly. It I was, did. I have. I was impressed. I said, "Man, if I was on the court, I would want to be you know, that. I would have let her." Just you take make the my ball. heart. When we wrestle, this is what she does. She knows that I'm so like I'll barely touch her, and then she'll cover up her face and act like she's crying. And I know, I know it's bait. And I go to check on her, and she opens up and punches me right in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's never happened. <laughs> she has her head down with a smile. <laughs> I, I'll be like, I know you're playing, and I'll, she'll go, no, no. And then I'll go, if I come over here, you're going to do something, and she goes, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I'm breaking your esophagus. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Now we have to find time two, which is from this point. Wait, time two. So nice. Yes. So how do you get that? So we need T2 because we're going to need T total, which is T1 okay. plus T2. Back okay, I got a question. Okay. Yes. Okay, so previously on... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Previously Keep going. on total okay. drama item. That shows that show slam, obviously. You're not wrong. I got birth really loud and I would have been embarrassed if the birth was really loud. All right, so we're going from the Y high to okay. the pin. Chloe. So to go from the Y high to the pin, let's do a new shopping cart. So this is a thing. This is a totally new. All this in red is totally new. We're setting a different setup. Alright, so let's fill it in. I already put in for acceleration, I put gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. Now this is the thing. Everything in this case is going down. So for T2, for me to get it, I'm going to make my life simple. I'm going to make down positive. Everything is going down, just make it all positive. So here's the thing that we got to look at. We've got to find out what Y final is. Y final is from this high point to the top of the pin. Now, if you want to make things complex, go right ahead. You can keep that number, but you've got to make sure you use this number. Or you can do what I'm going to do. To find the Y final here. Make that Y initial. Make this up here, Y initial. I'm going to make it zero. And to find this wide final, it's 119.6582 meters minus 0 0.121 meters. This is a 5, 3. It is 5, 3. Huh. Yeah, that's what I got. 5, 3, 2, 3. Well, my thing. My um point six five eight two was a little bit. I got six point six five three three. Oh, okay, but I used the exact numbers. Yeah. I stored them in my calculator. I'm just, well, I already did the work. So you're fine. No, don't change it. Don't change it because you're still on the same same track. You're totally fine. Okay, so I now have this number as the Y final because this is what we're looking at now. From this scenario, it's literally a free fall situation. It's going from this height. And you're looking at the wide direction, it's like we're trying to make it fall to here. How long is it going to take to go from that height down to here? So the Y final, we just calculated, 119.5372 meters. The initial was zero meters. The initial velocity has changed. Yes? Zero? Is it zero? Or is it what is the final? Oh, it's 
Zero meters per second. You get that zero meters per second because you're now falling. We're coming from here and we're coming down. So we're starting with zero. Now the final velocity, you don't know. And the best part of it is you really don't need it. We're not going to be dealing with it. We need to find time. Jump for the one that's set for you. Yes. Right is outside of the Yeah. So Y final. You better run. Equals Y initial plus initial velocity in the Y direction times time plus one half gravity times time squared. Take out what we can take out. Y initial is zero and the initial velocity in the Y is zero. So really the final position is equal to one half gravity times time squared. Rearrange the formula. Time is equal to the square root of two times y final divided by gravity. Any questions there? Uh, two times the y final, which we have 119.5372 meters, divided by the 9.81 meters per second squared. This is where people get in trouble if they automatically just make gravity negative. It doesn't need to be negative in this case. So, two times. I get 4.93. That's the same as the first time. It is, so I'm on the head again, make sure. Well, I got. Would you guys just get. I for my second three, time, I got 9365. I didn't use the, like, the same numbers as you, so I'd say that yours is wrong. Mine, I got 4.9366. Because they should be similar because the there should only be like a point. Yeah, I just did it again in my book. I got the square root of the 119 number <coughs> divided by 4.9. I get 4.9366. That's what I got. Sweet. Alright, so in this case we now have that time. Time two. Oh my god, we're not even done with the second question yet. 4.9366 <laughs> Alright, so now in this case, we gotta find time total. So, time total. Time total, I got 9.875. I got point five six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I use exact. You were trying to clear your throat. And I make was. It cool after Okay, so I got nine point eight seven five eight. Julie got five seven, and Katie got five six. Close enough. Yes. He loves this thing. What was the first question? I have my whole. Answer. How long does it take I'm the ball to make contact? What you, what you yes. First, first answer to the question: How long, does it, how long does it take for the ball to make contact with the pins? Is that number. Now, if you're around that number, like y'all's got that last Bro, what is number in there. I got 430.84. Oh, that is not that's that's okay. Basically off, it's okay. But now in this, you got to answer the second one. How far should the ramp be placed from the pins in order for the boys to get the record? I did the last one. Next time. Let's do a different go. That's how I got it. What'd you get for the Did I use that? It should be 43.6273 times 4.9. I multiplied it by the wrong thing. By the wrong time. I couldn't see when I was like, Where'd my hair go? Sorry. Did you tell me? I need it. So you're. We told you you should have got a snack, Dylan. Gosh. Where'd it go? Katie, you're wrong. Alright, so in this, just filling in my chart for the x direction and my time. 
is 9.8758 seconds. Gravity, I mean acceleration, sorry, acceleration is zero meters per second squared. Final velocity in the X, whenever we deal with that, initial velocity in the X, we have got to find it. Do you have a rubber band I can use? Chloe, I've got some. You need a hair bow? Oh, my back can't Is it a hair bow you need? Yeah. Oh my god! You're an angel. So this initial velocity in the x direction is equal to 65.2 meters per second times the cosine of 48 degrees. You guys probably already did this. 43.6273. Because I'm going to marry my holy Jordan. So we get 43.6273, and we can fill that in over here. We put it into the Votec equation. Initial position, zero meters, we're trying to find the final position. So in this case, final position into the Votec equation, as it's been done, initial position plus initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. Initial position is zero, so it's gone. And acceleration is zero, so this whole quantity here is gone, which leaves me with the final position is equal to the initial velocity times time, which ends up being 43.6273 <laughs> meters per second times time, which was 9.8758 seconds. 430 430.8546. How about 84.58? No, I can't What'd you get? I used my exact number. What'd you get? 430.8458. No, because literally it's like we use exact numbers here, you round it. 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 All the way to exact numbers here, and you round it. And that's why you get a slightly different answer. Usually it says last. As two long as that first places. number and those first like one or two spots up in the decimal <gasps> are okay. Take your time. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Do you care to hang? Do you care to hang that back tape in front of the straw? Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, thank sir, you. I'll see you at the game. You too. Good game. Best luck. Hello, top play. Happy Sunday. Okay, considering this problem, oh. this problem is done. So it's now time to read this very important, very important thing. I was supposed to put on. Bye, you guys. Love you Bye, all. Bye, Bye. 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 I got Love some napkins all. if you want. Be careful Absolutely. on the way home. They're also Taco Bell napkins. Yes. Okay, this right here is a recipe that um put on cardboard. It was You guys all be safe. You do yeah. be safe. Ball up today. We'll be there. Good luck. I thought you had I would be ball. there, but I, I gotta go to a girls' work and one work today. It's the thought that counts. Anyway, I'm sorry. Good luck. But when we were in um, kindergarten, we had to make this recipe book. Um, and I, 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 the only people in my kindergarten class were me, Dylan, Braxton. I don't know what anybody else. But, you're right. Um, so this was Braxton's recipe. When I'm, I'm going to read mine first. Yeah, this was Julie Brown in kindergarten, her recipe for cake. <laughs> One teaspoon of flour. <laughs> two big eggs. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One cup of milk. Pour everything into a pan. Bake it in the oven at two degrees for nine minutes and two seconds. When the timer goes off, it is done. Okay, that's not that funny. Katie thought that was funny. It's not funny. This, <laughs> is, this, this is kindergarten. <laughs> kindergarten break. No, two degrees for nine minutes and two seconds. It's, it's, it's so funny because it's literally Julie. Like even in the in even in kindergarten, Julie's still slightly new. How to bake a cake? It was like two degrees. That's not that off. <laughs> like two, two degrees. degrees. <laughs> but no, like two teaspoons of vanilla, two big eggs, a whole cup of milk for one so, teaspoon of flour. It's just so jewelly. Okay, this jewelry. is no, this is so Braxton. This is Braxton Green's recipe for spaghetti. <laughs> Fifteen cups of love. <laughs> Four cans of tomato sauce. Two cans of the other red stuff. 10 to 11 packages of ground beef. So 10 to 11. 10 to 11 packages of ground beef. 5 boxes of curly noodles. Put everything but the cans and bottles.
boxes in a really big pot and start 10 or 11 times. Cook it for one to two hours. Eat it when Dad says it's time to eat. But the 10 to 11 um, packages of ground beef sitting in and to pour everything but the cans and boxes. So. That's so Braxton. Yeah, it is Braxton. Katie, that shit was a funny thing. Did you cackle? You absolutely cackled. Cackle. Cackle. I think we're so brain dead right now that I can't honestly think anything. So I, can oh. tell, I can tell my sleep paralysis story. Katie, probably even if Dr. Phil was in my sleep paralysis. Anybody want to know that story? Katie, yeah. Katie, 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 I'll be there if you want to ask me any physics questions. Yes, sir. Breaking down all the shots. All right. Any questions here on a problem like this? I'm just gonna. I did all this on a separate piece of paper to make sure I know how to do it. If I need to look back, <laughs> but I'm not gonna hold it by myself again. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no. Oh, you can't do me the right way. <laughs> You didn't. Ah! I got it on my paper. You didn't see the exchange earlier, did you? She said, "Gonna have some hand sanitizer," and I handed it to her. Like I was gonna put some in her hand, but then she grabbed the bottle like that, and I was like, and I wasn't going like that, pouring it in her hand while she took the bottle away like that. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go again. No questions here on this point. What can we do in 15 minutes? What was the number you got? We can hit some highlights. Okay. Please do hit some highlights. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're all, are, are, is everyone good on centripetal and like all that stuff? Like all the yeah. centripetal, whatever it is. Ah! The, the, the circle stuff. I think we're all good on the circle stuff. Not really. Okay. Not really. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like that one's going to get you all. Are you going to combine it? Are you, all, are you just going to make it one problem or are you going to have two problems? Molly! No, you can give me ideas. No, no, y'all. No. This is exactly uh, what you I'm getting a call. Hello. Hello. Hello, this box of pizza. <laughs> Are you real or a robot? Mm -hmm. Robot. Alright. Y'all, like, what was I going to say? Mr. Hall, you're trying to have a problem and it's going to be like. It's going to be like, you're going to have something by a string like this, swing in it in a circle like that, and then you let it go, and it goes up a ramp, and then it, it, hits, <laughs> it hits a tree. <laughs> As it slides up the ramp, it has a static friction coefficient. Oh, oh no! <laughs> we are not starting that! We are not doing that! Good job, you it. Please don't. I will. I will grab a whole meltdown and can, we, can we take a field trip to Ikea so we can look at their ramps? <laughs> They sell rooms at Ikea. Can we do one of like, the easier problems, one of the first ones we got? Because I feel like I'm, I've been so focused on these harder problems. So we'd love to take these four. Sure. I was too lazy to pick it up. <laughs> so like one of the easy book problems? Yeah, or like one of the first problems you gave us. I agree with you. Well, it's a light piece of paper. <laughs> I wish so. I have to do it. That thing that even only grows. Well, Because I mean, it's an easier one. I'll, I got it. Uh, I like it better whenever you do the problems out on the board instead of on a piece of notebook paper. I don't know why, but I can do that better. I like the notebook because Danny is going to sell us copies. Is that still recording? Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
on. Really? Yeah. Call me at who you think this is. I'm so offended. Katie, do you want me to prove it? Okay, we have to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do it right? Oh, so yeah, we went to the bathroom together. We were talking. I'm so mad. Don't be mad. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, where's it at? It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just looking at this automatically, like the first one I'm going to jump for is the Y final. 
I think it was y initial plus initial velocity times time plus one half gravity times times squared. Circular motion.
tangent to the circle. Okay, it makes that 90 degree angle with the circle. So that's the velocity. So like if I was spinning an object around and it was here and you released it, what direction would it go? It would go up and follow that arrow. Alright, for this to take place there has got to be an acceleration. The acceleration is called centripetal acceleration, or as other people have dubbed it in our class, centipede. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The centipede acceleration the same caterpillar, I forgot the is equal to the velocity <laughs> squared divided by the radius. If there's one that I think is going to get you that you'll be worried that I'm worried about, it's this one. Yeah. Because you should know in this class by now, velocity is equal to the change in position over change in time. Delta. 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 You should be good there. Okay, you should be good for the the force is equal to m a. It's the same thing as always, even though that's that centipede acceleration. And if there's anything that you may worry you, but I don't want you to be worried about because I'm gonna give it to you. I'm not quizzing you on your knowledge of geometry. I'm quizzing you on your knowledge of physics. Circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. Now in this, that, this whole thing here, is the change in position. Delta. The delta x. Okay? And from there, don't try to memorize these formulas like six different formulas. Memorize one set of formulas. Which set of formulas should we have? So like the final position equals the initial position plus the initial velocity times time plus one half times acceleration times time squared. <laughs> this and this is the same exact thing. The only thing I've changed is the x is to y's because this is x direction, that's y direction. Okay, if you remember back, I did that one time in class, and I think it was Joy was screaming. It may have been you two, Katie, y'all were screaming. But why? <laughs> why? No, what's why? But why? Yes, that was. Well, why? Yes. I'm like, that was some trying to find a position. That was me. You're like, no, why? I'm like, oh, the letter Y. Okay. Then from here, you'll get the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration times time. And then along with this is the final velocity squared equals the initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times final position minus initial position. So know those and know these. Okay, I'm, yes, once you learn it, don't forget it. All is fair game. But I'm not going to destroy you guys on this. This is not my intent. I'm not going to come out of nowhere and say, well, uh, Mr. Hull slid a box down the ramp. <laughs> After it came down the ramp, it, it flew up. off that ball, oh, something, 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 and I'm going to have to make you figure out the velocity of the box after it came down the ramp because you had the force of kinetic friction that was slowing it down and all that. I'm not going to do that to you, okay? Because that's just too much. I agree. Do you guys have any questions? I feel pretty good that I'm going to be in here all day tomorrow because, you know, once you go to sleep, you're kind of just like, these problems are so like circumstantial though. Like I like I will understand something completely when we go through it, and when you do it on the board, I will completely understand. But then when I get a new problem, it's like it's like it's starting it off that gets me. So it's like it's like yeah, I don't, I don't once I get started, I can just I don't have questions it. until I see the problem. But you guys like you want me to draw the picture? Yeah, draw the please draw the picture. I will draw the picture of the snare. Thank you. Okay. From that, look. Okay. Just so y'all guys know, like on your on your grade, this is what you're pretty much looking at. I'm gonna throw the practice problems in. And then you got the quiz, and the quiz is big. Yeah. So our grade's gonna like if you're not doing good, it's gonna drop the grade. Yes. Because it's starting over. 
We're starting over. So the the quiz is literally what's going to start you off in this class. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, have a I vote that we do another quiz on this. <laughs> Molly, I will be I will be posting this video for you guys. So that's it. And the number three, I worked it out. I know I didn't work it out on a video, but I'll take a picture of it and send it out there so everybody can see what they're. And if y'all got questions, just holler at me. I'll be, I'll be at the game tonight, so. You're going to be sitting in the bleachers, and all of us are going to be sitting around you. Okay. Y'all can come right around me and ask all the questions you want. Thank you all going to sit.